Just recently, I posted a video depicting how I would react to water or drinking water if it was not a given in my reality. If I were not energetically aligned with this water or drinking water, how would I react to it? But I want to speak a little bit more about this because there's way more to it. And the reason is because if you want to manifest anything, if you want to manifest what you don't have, if you want to manifest the something that you can't find a way to claim in this reality, then you must closely inspect, then you must look at what you had already manifested. Look at the things that you had already manifested and are a given in your reality because you are manifesting each and every one of those things. Every experience you go through is something that you manifested and the things that you don't have, the things that you did not get to experience are some, are, are some way or another things that you chose not to manifest. And I find it funny or ironic how often we forget or disregard the fact that we are manifesting every living moment of our reality that we are creating co-creating as we are living now there are things which are easier to manifest than others and those things and those are the things that were part of your programming those are the things that you had that you were secure enough about them as you were growing up now that's the reason why the rich it's more common than not that the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor and that is because whatever was part of your programming is easier for you to manifest as you go on as you live you know create keep creating more and more of that thing because it's already part of your programming you never felt insecure about water you never felt insecure about food you never felt insecure about many things and those things you will continue to have those things you continue to manifest effortlessly without even trying they are a given in your reality and to have other things be at the same place of those given things in your reality you have to closely inspect the things that are actually given in your reality the things that are you are manifesting effortlessly in your reality if you want more money approach money the same way you approach water or your food or any th other thing that you are very secure about in your reality and that will teach you that will teach you and what i mean by closely inspect the things that are actually manifested in your reality i mean to actually see how you get them see how you feel about them see what you think about them how often do you think about them how attached are you to them how insecure, how, how, how much of yourself are you attributing to this factor? How much of your value are you giving to that thing? How much of your self-worth, your self-perceptions -perce are you giving to that thing? Do you feel worthless when you cannot find water? Do you feel now, regardless of what the truth is, because obviously you cannot even live without water and that you, you are grateful inherently to water. You are grateful inherently it's something that is innate in you it's something that you grew up to find you know you're not thinking you're not actively thinking oh i'm grateful for water i'm grateful for water but deep down you are deep down you are grateful for your food for your family for your loved ones for the ones who are in your current reality for the things you currently own and possess in your reality and you are enjoying you are grateful you are inherently grateful for those things but you are not the things that you don't currently have but struggle to actually try and get are things that you were not programmed to believe you are worthy of things you were programmed to believe are out of your uh, are past your limits are something that you cannot possibly have that something that requires so much more effort than you are capable of or something is something that is actually more worthy than you is something that you do not deserve that easily and that you should struggle to actually have you should fight for that thing and those things are the things which we find actually harder to manifest in our reality because they were not part of our programming but we have seen it done over and over people manifesting a reality which has nothing to do with their pro with their programming something that was even you know presented something that was recorded are things which happened in joe dispenza's 
workshops and experiments people were able to increase their muscle mass by 14 or 40 percent i don't remember once again the the the, the percentage by either 14 or 40 percent by simply imagining long enough that they were doing a bicep curl and that got their biceps to increase by 14 or or, or 40 percent muscle mass just by not even long enough it was for two weeks i believe this specific experiment others were able to manifest hundreds of thousands of dollars when they were you know barely surviving in terms of living costs and what's whatever now yes they were taught to actually get into deeper states of meditation into theta to access their theta brainwave states while remaining fully awake and conscious and then you know imagining themselves seeing themselves visualizing that they are actually doing biceps curl and that what got them but the key here is not that you yes it's easier it's much easier to do it while you are in, in med on meditation while you are in deep in meditative states because that closely connects to your essence because when you are at that state when you are in, th in theta you're easily reprogrammable you're easily programmed you can program whatever into yourself but the key the, the more important thing is repetition even if you don't get into into those deep meditative states you can simply do something be something see yourself tell yourself something long enough and it's gonna happen because all that matters is that it imprints on your subconscious and it becomes part of your programming because you are whether we admit it, admit it or not our spiritual self is highly influenced by our ego by our physical aspect your physical aspect actually influences your spiritual nature and you pull down your your you pull down or up your spiritual nature to whatever frequency using your ego and so you could you could even take your 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 spiritual aspect your true self your frequency higher by being something by being a version in your ego or you could pull it down even further by being a specific person someone who's who's vibrating as an ego on low frequency who's indulging in low frequency activities and indulging in low frequency emotions and indulging in low frequency self perspectives so on and so forth and so what you are as an ego as an as a physical conscious 3d being you actually imprint that on your subconscious and then on your soul and then on your spiritual nature on your spirit on your infinite self you know although it is infinite but when you are living we chose to create this reality and bound ourselves by the 3d aspects by 3d aspects and that's why we are functioning based on that and that's why i often speak about introducing your ego to your higher self introducing your ego to the spirit rather than killing your ego because the ego is like a compass as well you could use your ego as a compass to how you actually achieve things you want but more about that that's a whole another video so let's not get out of track that much what i'm trying to say is that even the things that were not programmed on you to you and to you as a youngster as a young person as a child are able to be manifested you are able to actually have them without the need to to be to to have to to learn how to have them or 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 to be taught that you are worthy of those things you simply have to treat them the way you treat things that are already manifested thing th the things that are you are actually manifesting currently now if you did not if water was not given in your reality you would freak out you would attribute yourself for those things you would be very attached to whether you find water or not to whether you 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 get to drink water today or not and if you're sharing the same thing with the same perspective to money to love to security to peace to living in peace then you will con those things will continue to not be a given but you don't put 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 water on a pedestal you don't put your food on a pedestal you can even skip days without without food you could even skip a day or two without food and not not being bothered by it Be and for example you are secure about having a house and you could choose to spend the night in the streets 
because you're not insecure about you know somewhere to sleep somewhere to live what I'm trying to say is that the things that are given in your reality you don't put on a pedestal you don't give them more worth than you give yourself you don't put them higher you don't struggle for them you create them you are them you become them you were told that you deserve to live in a in a to live to sleep in a comfortable bed you were told to growing up you know that you deserve to drink clean water you were told to that you deserve to eat healthy or eat food you know have sleep with a with a full stomach or whatever and that's why you continue to recreate those experiences but what you were not taught unconditional love that you're worthy of unconditional love that you're worthy of 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 your dream reality that you are worthy that you can create whatever you want into existence then you can have whatever you want because you are an infinite being in truth your true nature is way higher than anything in this material physical reality and that's why you can create those things you don't have to worry about anything you are not taught any of those things and so you live putting all those things that you actually want but can't have on a pedestal and you they are driving you they are 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 pulling you to whatever direction they want you to go you are not in control of them they are controlling you but the things you have they're not controlling you you are secure about them so they cannot control you you're detached from them you're detached from the outcome that has to do with anything with them even if it goes wrong even if you get to spend the whole day without water you do not create a toxic conditional relationship with them i'll have to work you know and and shed blood and sweat and tears for the next 30 days to get a good meal you're not thinking like that so why would you think like that about what about love or about peace or about that dream reality you've been envisioning or about money or about whatever you're trying to create why think like that because that's the way you think about what you don't have but to have something approach it the exact same way you approach the things you already have approach it with the same feelings put it at the same level get it at the same frequency and then you would be pushing yourself higher and getting those things down from the pedestal and then you would be at a higher frequency and that's when you can have it whatever you seek is seeking you back only when you seek it detached from it only when you seek it as your true self not when it is controlling you when you are seeking it out of pure conscious desire you know not because it's you're desperate for it not because it's something that you feel your life depends on it not because of something even if that's the case because your life depends on food and water but you don't seek it in that way you seek it out of a secure place and whatever you seek out of it of of security out of an of a, out of being insecure secure towards that thing it's going to seek you back it's going to become become part of your life one way or another those are the things you manifest and that's why you cannot have you know if you, if you if you live in fear of something long enough you it's going to end up happening if you live in a toxic relation with something for long enough it's going to happen it's going to it's going to overwhelm you and control you and set for you a path that's not something you wanted but whatever different path it's driving you around whenever you give control to something it will take you to places it will control you it will take you to places that you probably don't want to go to it will take you anywhere maybe it's something you want it's somewhere you want to be maybe it's somewhere you don't want to be so you're not in control and so the more you give away from your control the more you're like just a bunny following a carrot then those things are in control of you and you will never have them they will continue to be in control of you and that is your current alignment that is your current vibration that is what you're currently resonating with but the moment 
you take back your control, you claim back your energy, you claim back your power. Nothing can control me. Those things cannot control me because I'm at an even higher frequency than those things and I can have them whenever I want. I am creating my reality as I live. The more you imprint that, the more you tell yourself that, the more you actually talk to yourself that way, carry yourself that way, feel that way, approach life from that perspective. Approach life with the same level of gratitude you would have for it if those things were there. The same, the same inherent gratitude for water, have it for money, have it for love, have it for peace, for a peaceful life, have it for success, have it for being a multi-millionaire business owner. That inherent gratitude, that makes you vibrate on the frequency of having those things. Because the more you actually attach yourself, your value, your worth, your whatever to that which you're seeking, the more you're actually going to resonate with its lack because it's not really there in this physical 3D reality and you have attributed everything to it. You have attached your self-perception to it and now it's not there and it's not there and it will continue impo imposing ways on yourself for you, ways on you to see yourself. You are not worthy. You don't deserve. You deserve to suffer. You don't deserve love. You don't deserve unconditional love. You have to work hard for your money, for your love, for your peace. So yes, there are things which are easier to manifest than others, but everything is something that you can manifest. It's something that you are worthy of. If you desire it, you can have it. If you desire it, you create it because this is just one whole big illusion and you are the creator through it. You can choose to be the one in control or you could give whatever control you have to other external things and then you don't blame what happens in your life on anyone or anything but yourself. No one, you know. With that being said, thank you so much for tuning in to another video by AF's Conscious Frequency. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because it helps me so much and it helps this video find its way to many more others who might actually need it.